In this episode, we're exploring the clinical pipeline of Bluebird Bio, and we're going to evaluate how a recent event during a clinical trial, which sent their stock price diving, could in fact be very advantageous for CRISPR therapeutics. If you'd like to learn more about the CRISPR therapeutics clinical pipeline, I'll leave a link here and in the description below for you to check out. In fact, Bluebird Bio have a very interesting and diverse clinical pipeline, which are largely grouped into the severe de genetic disease category and oncology. Additionally, Bluebird Bio enjoy the benefits of having at least one product, which is commercially available on the European market in Liechtenstein, as well as the UK, under an orphan drug status. If you don't know what orphan drug status means, but would like to learn more, leave me a comment below and I may make a future video explaining this. For now, it's sufficient to know that their product, Zintenglo, which is used to treat beta thalassemia, is commercially available in the European Union, in Liechtenstein, as well as in the UK. But the orphan drug status means that technically it would still be considered being in phase 3 clinical trials as well. The Bluebird Bio clinical trial pipeline is quite rich. There are 18 studies currently listed in comparison to 4 studies for CRISPR therapeutics. But before we get into the details, a quick shout out to my early subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thanks for your interest and support. Although I have a PhD in biomedical engineering and over 15 years of working experience in the healthcare industry, I do not intend to give you investment advice. Please do your own research before making any investments. You are watching Health Wealth. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not, nice to have you back. If we focus for now on the severe genetic disease area, Bluebird Bio do a fantastic job of showing on their own website in which phases all their various different products currently are. And when you take a look, I have the picture up here as well, you can see that most of them are actually in phase two or three with the exception of uh, two, which are in phase one or one, two, and one, which is still in preclinical. When you understand as an investor that money comes generally in after completion of phase three, if the phase is successful, of course, then you should be overly excited about a company that has such a rich pipeline, which products that are in phase three and hopefully will near completion of these phases successfully soon. Also in their oncology pipeline, they have six candidates currently in the preclinical phase, four which are in phase one, two candidates in phase two, and one treatment candidate currently in phase three. This interesting clinical pipeline certainly makes Bluebird Bio a potentially interesting candidate for investments. If we compare the market capitalization of CRISPR therapeutics and Bluebird Bio, we note that CRISPR Therapeutics currently with roughly 8.6 billion market cap is definitely larger than Bluebird Bio with 1.9 billion market capitalization. When we take a closer look at the stock price of Bluebird Bio, ticker symbol BLUE, we notice a significant dip suddenly on February 12th where the stock price dropped from $45.76 within a couple of days until February 23 to at least for now a seeming low of $25.62. And you may wonder why this sudden drop of almost 50%. The sharp decline of the stock price on February 12th and in the following days is linked to Bluebird Bio becoming aware and having to report on an unexpected serious adverse reaction with two of their patients. These two patients participated in a clinical trial for the treatment of sickle cell disease and were treated more than five years ago. One of these patients now has acute myeloid leukemia and the other is suffering from myeloid dysplastic syndrome. So I quickly would like to provide a little bit of a disease background. Both of these patients were treated for sickle cell disease, which is a genetic blood disorder. 
and now five years later both of them have some kind of blood cancer. At this point of course it is completely unclear if there could be a connection between these blood cancers and the prior treatment against sickle cell disease and the company is of course taking this very seriously and is investigating these cases. So the stock market of course is as always relentless and unforgiving and the recently sharp decline in stock price is of course linked to these events. And I would like to pause here for just a second. As investors, it's too easy to just focus on the money aspects. However, there are now two patients whose lives are deeply impacted by cancer. As I work for a reputable biotech company myself, the well-being of patients is what I always have on my mind. My heartfelt sympathies go out to these two patients and their families. I hope that they receive the treatment and care that they need now in order to get better while the company is investigating possible relations to the prior treatment. Let's not forget that the contributions from patients who voluntarily participate in clinical trials and therefore contribute to the clinical or the success of a clinical trial pipeline and ultimately that translates into the stock price that we as investors can benefit from. So I firmly believe that we owe deep gratitude towards patients who voluntarily participate in clinical trials. So it is clear that the recent sharp decline of the stock price is related to the suspected unexpected serious adverse reactions I had just described. But let's take a look at what is the fallout from this event. As Bluebird Bio report on their own website, they do what I expect from any reputable company. They have assessed the potential risk for other patients in their pipelines who are treated with technology or treatments that are similar to those where these uh, events have occurred. And as a consequence, the progress of two clinical trials, one of which is phase 1-2, the other is currently in phase 3, are now on hold. Also, their only commercial product, Zentanglo, which is approved in parts of Europe under an orphan drug status, is now suspended temporarily at least from commercialization because it uses the same kind of technology involved in the prior clinical trial five years ago for sickle cell disease. As uncomfortable as the situation for Bluebird Bio certainly must be now, in my opinion they have taken really the right risk-based decisions and I applaud them for that. It's anyone's guess to find out how long the clinical trial investigations will take to conclude on this matter. However, one thing is absolutely clear. Certainly the findings from these investigations will be of tremendous interest, not only to the researchers and scientists working at Bluebird Bio, but to anyone working in the gene editing field. And you can be certain that this case will be followed closely. So, and as always in life, one man's or company's potential failure could turn out to be another company's potential fortune. That said, we get to CRISPR Therapeutics and their development partner, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. In 2015, these two companies signed a development agreement and are collaborating, in fact, on uh, treatments also for sickle cell disease. And with the setback, or certainly delay, now experienced by Bluebird Bio, it could mean that Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR technology are in fact able to bring their treatment against uh, sickle cell disease to market sooner than otherwise Bluebird Bio would have been able to. And if you believe that the company first to market will take the lion's share of that market, well this is how this recent event could in fact be fortunate for CRISPR therapeutics. As investors in the biotech field, you want to keep the following in mind. Once they have successfully completed clinical trial phase number three, this means more money to me. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel and leave me a comment for any other topics you would like me to cover.